You have purchased the amazing Magic Molder from the Cost Cutter Division of LRH Enterprises. The Magic Molder is a 7-inch diameter carbide-tipped anti-kickback molder head that will convert your table saw into a molder. The Magic Molder is ideal for making short runs and creating custom molding on natural woods and composite materials such as MDF. Seventy different cutter profiles are available to give you the ability to create custom moldings with endless possibilities. Now you can produce moldings such as these on your saw with the Magic Molder. It can be used on any machine that accepts a dado headset, whether your saw is a radial arm, stationary, or portable table saw. Let's demonstrate how you can convert your table saw into a molder to produce decorative moldings for the home, office, woodworking project, or just for your own enjoyment. To begin, remove the existing saw blade from your machine. Now pick up the revolutionary magic molder head. You will notice that the head is recessed on both sides. This is to accommodate both left tilting and right tilting machines. A spacer is supplied with your magic molder and is used to fill the recess on either side to align the head in the same position as the saw blade. First install the spacer on the arbor if needed. Some machines do not require the use of the spacer. Note the rotation arrow marked on the head and install the head to run in the same direction as the arrow. Third, install the outer saw flange and or nut and tighten onto the saw arbor. Unlike a multi-piece data set, the Magic Molder is a solid head and does not require an extreme amount of torque to prevent slippage. Merely tighten the Magic Molder like you would your saw blade. The rotation of the saw will add torque automatically and prevent slippage. You will notice that the set screw is loosened below the surface of the cavity to eliminate any obstruction for the installation of the detail plug. You will also notice that there is a pin in the cavity opposite the set screw. This pin is a locator pin to guide and position the plug in the head. Each plug has an L-shaped groove on one edge and a hole on the opposing edge. Slide the plug from the side, not from the top. Line up the beginning of the L-shaped groove with the pin. Do not force the plug into the cavity. Gently slide the plug over the pin to its maximum depth. Twist the plug into the lower portion of the L-shaped groove until the plug stops in its final position. The next step is to index and lock the plug into place. Tighten the set screw down into the hole of the plug. Now the detail plug has been installed, indexed, and locked into position, and cannot be ejected from left to right or from the top of the head. The cavity has been machined below the center of the circle, and the plug is virtually impossible to be detached. Repeat the process to the remaining cavity, or cavities if you're using the four wing head. The Allen head set screw is both a locking mechanism for the plug and an index pin to align the plugs in the head. This makes the details on the plugs align themselves to each other. This creates smoother cuts, longer life, and eliminates any concern of installing the cutters incorrectly. No dial indicator is required to align the detail plugs. Always install identical plugs in each cavity. Mixing plugs will cause an imbalance and create vibration. All plugs and heads are electronically spin balanced for vibration free operation. Now you're ready to use the magic molder. Lower the magic molder below the working surface. Install your dado insert or zero clearance insert. Raise the magic molder to its desired height. Before you plug in your saw to start cutting, always turn the magic molder by hand to ensure a freewheeling tool without any obstructions. 
Once a lack of obstruction is confirmed, plug in your saw and make a sample cut on a piece of scrap material before proceeding with your desired cuts. The first time you use your magic molder, you will notice how quiet it runs. The patented magic molder is the safest, quietest, and smoothest cutting molder head for saws on the market today. A very useful auxiliary item for the magic molder is the magic molder fence. It's a high-grade anodized solid aluminum fence designed to clip over your existing fence to prevent damage. There will be times when you only need to cut with a portion of the detail and the magic molder fence cutout allows you to make partial cuts without cutting into your original fence. The magic molder fence is quick and easy to use and is totally adjustable. It fits over all standard saw fences except the Delta Unifence with a large cast iron housing. If you have a narrow fence found on many portable table saws, merely use a filler board to fill the gap. Now let's demonstrate a few techniques you can use to maximize the many applications of the magic molder. The magic molder is the only carbide tipped molder head for table or radial arm saws. Carbide tipped cutting edges allow you to shape MDF for paint grade molding and casing, not to mention any and all natural woods. You can shape pencil molds, also known as bead molding, and make double cuts that are always equal. The anti-kickback chip limiter design produces extremely smooth cuts and the balanced heads and plugs eliminate chatter marks. Also, you can make in-cuts on your saw with a magic molder that you can't get on an $85,000 molder or planer molder. The fact that you can tilt your arbor allows you to make these cuts. You can see how the detail changes when you tilt the spindle. This creates endless possibilities for making custom molding. You can also use your magic molder fence to cut patterns in arches. The magic molder fence has four holes that have been drilled and tapped with standard 1 quarter 20 threads to enable you to attach an arch template for cutting curved moldings and casings on your table saw. You make your own template to whatever radius you need by cutting arches to size with either a bandsaw or router. You then run your arches through the template over the magic molder. You can also cut wider molding by merely clamping a fence at an angle on your saw, and the angle of the fence will dictate the width of the cut. Remember to use protective eyewear, hold downs, feather boards, push sticks, power feeders and other safety features whenever possible, and follow the safety recommendations listed in the owner's manual. This concludes the Magic Molder training video to convert your table saw into a molder. We hope you found it instructive. Now take your Magic Molder and put it to work for you. Be safe, have fun, and enjoy the amazing and innovative Magic Molder.